Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, September 27th, 2024. Today we're going to recap Thursday night football and look ahead to Sunday's games for week four, college football week five. We'll recap yesterday's game, look ahead to the weekend, MLB, soccer, WNBA playoffs, NASCAR, news and notes, and best bet and the Fab Five. All right, we'll start with football. Um, We'll go over... um, the lone result from yesterday. It was a much more competitive game than a lot of people thought between two division rivals and a much better putting or showing by the Giants than 40 to nothing last year as the Cowboys win 20 to 15, a game the Cowboys desperately needed, let's be honest. They're 2 and 2, the Giants dropped to 1 and 3. Um Dak Prescott, 22 of 27, 221 yards and two touchdowns. Daniel Jones, 29 of 40, 281 yards and the pick. And the pick was at the end of the game when he was uh, trying to uh, um, throw a Hail Mary to uh, try to get a touchdown to take the lead. And now Sunday's games. Um, All right, so we'll start with 1 o'clock. On CBS, or wait, Fox, my bad, Saints-Falcons. Um, my line's Falcons by three, total 42 and four fits. And FanDuel has this at... Um, One and a half and forty two and a half. Um slight lean Atlanta minus the points. Um next up is Rams Bears on Fox. I have Bears by three total forty three and it is Chicago by three total forty and a half. I like the over. Next up is Vikings Packers on CBS. Mine's Packers by two total forty one and three tenths. And it's three and forty three and a half. I like the under. Next up on CBS, uh, Steelers Colts. Mine Steelers by three total thirty two and thirteen twentieths, and it's one and a half and thirty nine and a half. I like the under a lot. Next up on CBS, Broncos Jets. Mine's Jets twelve and a half total thirty six and a fifth or a tenth. I'm sorry, and it's seven and a half and thirty nine and a half. I absolutely love the Jets minus the points. Um. On Fox Eagles box, my line is Eagles by one total forty three and three twentieths, and it is one half and forty two and a half. Um, slight over. Um, next up on Fox is Bengals Panthers. I have the Bengals by only one total forty eight and seven tenths, and it is four and a half and forty seven and a half. I like the Panthers get it in the four and a half. On CBS, you have Jaguars, Texans. My line's Texans by 12, total 42 and 3 tenths. And it's 6.5 and, and 45 and a half. I love the Texans minus the points. 4 o'clock on Fox, Commanders, Cardinals. My line's pick them in 52 and a fifth. And we have Arizona by 3.5, total 50 and a half. I like the Commanders getting the 3 in the hook a lot. Next up is Patriots 49ers. My line is 49ers 7.5 total, 39 and 13 20 and it's 10.5 and 40 and a half. And and a half. Um, kind of like New England getting the points. On CBS, Browns Raiders. My line's pick them in 42 and 13 20 and, and it's Raiders 1 half total, 37 half. I love the over in that game. Um, Chiefs Chargers. My line's Chiefs by only a half total, 38. And it's seven and three nine and a half. Why is it that high? Explain it to me. Like is Justin Herbert doubtful for this game? Like I don't know why it's that high. And he was limited in practice. Um, but I'm gonna take the Chargers. Getting seven because that is a lot of points, especially for how the Chiefs have looked so far. And then 
Last but not least, Sunday Night Football at NBC and Peacock. Bills, Ravens. Mine's Bills 2.5 total 51 and a half, and it's the Ravens by 2.5 total 46 and a half. Um, so, the question is, where do I go? I have a five-point edge on the Bills, but I also have a five-point edge on the over, and there's probably more injuries on Buffalo as well. So, I really like the over in that game. So, next we'll move on to college. Um, We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to the slate for tonight and Saturday. So we had one game. It was in the American, and Army absolutely destroyed Temple by a score of 42-14. to 14. Um, We have two games tonight, 7-30, ESPN, Virginia Tech at number 7, Miami. Um, I have Miami by 8, total 57, and 9 twentieths. And it is 17 and a half and 53 and a half. That is way too high for Miami. I think this game's actually going to be close. So I'm going to take Virginia Tech getting the 17 and a half. And 8 o'clock on Fox is Washington Rutgers. I have Rutgers by half total 46. And 7 20th. And it's Rutgers by one half total. Um, 44 and a half. I'm surprised they're actually favored. I did have them as a favorite, but I'm sorry, they actually are favored. But I'm going to go with the slight over with that one. All right, Saturday, 12 o'clock, ABC. Kentucky at number six, Ole Miss. Ole Miss by 16, total 47 and three quarters. And it's 15 and a half and 52 and a half. I like the under. Um... Next up is on Fox, Minnesota, number 12, Michigan. I have Michigan 13 and a half, total 42 and the 20th. And it's 10 and a half and 36 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. Um, on ESPN, number 20, Oklahoma State, at number 23, Kansas State. I have Kansas State by three, total 46 and the 20th. And it's four and a half and 57 and a half. I'm going to go with the under. On Fox Sports 1, number 22, BYU at Baylor. I have Pickham in 46 and a 10th. And it's 3 and a half and 46 and a half. Um, that's a tough one. I'm going to take BYU getting the points. Um, um, Big Ten Network, Maryland, Indiana. Mine's Indiana, 3 and a half, total 55 and 7 tenths. And it is 6 and a half and 51 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. Nebraska-Purdue on Peacock. My line is Nebraska by 5, total 52 and 7 twentieths. And it's 10 and a half and 48 and a half. I'm going to take Purdue getting the points. CBS Sports Network, Buffalo, UConn. I have UConn 8 and a half, total 50 and 19 twentieths. And it is 5 and a half and 44 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. Western Kentucky, Boston College on the ACC Network. I have BC by one, total 49 and four fifths. And it's 12 and a half and 54 and a half. I love Western getting the 12 and a half. Northern Illinois, NC State on the CW Network. I have NC State seven and a half total of 56 and seven tenths. And it is seven and a half and 46 and a half. Um, I like the over in that game a lot. Holy Cross, Syracuse. I have Syracuse 24, total 54 and 7 tenths. And it's 28 and a half and 57 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Holy Cross getting the points. Navy UAB on ESPN 2. My line's Navy by 7, total 60 and 17 twentieths. And it's 3 and a half and 56 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. South Florida Tulane on ESPNU. My line is Tulane by nine, total sixty and nineteen twentieths, and it is five and a half and sixty-two and a half. I'm gonna lay the five and a half with Tulane. 
Ball State, James Madison at 130. My lane's James Madison by 23, total 64 and 3 twentieths. And it is 20 and a half and 56 and a half. Um, I like the over. A lot of overs I like this week. Um, 3 o'clock, Texas State, Sam Houston. My line is um, Sam Houston, 2 and a half, total 54. And it's Texas State by 9 and a half, total 55 and a half. I'm going to take Sam Houston plus the 9 and a half and plus. 260 outright. All right. Next up, 330 CBS. It's weird seeing USC playing on CBS. Um, Wisconsin, number 13 USC. I have USC by 12 total of 46 and 7 tenths. And that is 14 half and 15 and a half. Um, I'm like the under. Um, so we're picking an under in an SC game too. Um, on Peacock, number 15, Louisville, number 16, Notre Dame. I have Notre Dame three and a half total 50 and nine twentieths, and it is six and a half and 46 and a half. Um, I like the over in that game big time. Um, on ABC, number 21, Oklahoma at Auburn. Is it just... Um, you know, SEC on ABC now? That's weird. Um, I have Auburn by a half, total 48 and 11 20th, and it's Oklahoma 1 half, total 44 and a half. Um, I like the over in that one as well. ESPN, Arkansas, number 24, Texas A&M. My line is... A and M by eleven, total fifty four nine tenths, and it's five and a half and fifty one and a half. Is that game in Jerry World? If that game is in Jerry World, then I have to uh, change some projections here because that game's usually in Jerry World. Yes, that's a my bad for me. So A and M by eight. So now um will the pick remain the same with A and M? No, I'm gonna go with the over instead. Um UMass Miami of Ohio, my line's Miami of Ohio, seventeen after all forty one and three tenths. And it is 16 and a half and 44 and a half. Um, I like the under net game. Louisiana Wake, ACC Network. My line is Louisiana by four, total 55 and a half. And it's Wake three and a half, total 60 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Louisiana plus the three and a half and plus 134 to win. Um, TCU, Kansas. My line is Kansas four and a half, total 59 and seven tenths. And we have. Two and a half and fifty eight and a half. Um, I'm related to two and a half with Kansas. They need the game. Um, on Fox, Colorado, UCF, and it's UCF sixteen and a half total fifty six and a half, and it is. Um, and this is the big noon game. Fourteen and a half and sixty two and a half. Um, under. Liberty App State. My line is Liberty by ten total fifty six. And. Four fifths, and it is three and a half and sixty three and a half. Um, ooh, I'm gonna lay it with Liberty. And then Fox Sports One, Fresno State, UNLV. My line is UNLV by a half, total fifty five and a fifth. I'm sorry, a tenth. And it's two and a half. Oh, with the quarterback out. That whole, all that drama. That line should not be that. It should be Fresno by four and a half. As I uh, forgot to adjust the UNLV quarterback thing. Um. So Fresno four and a half total fifty five and a tenth, and it is UNLV two and a half total forty nine and a half. Um. I'm going to go Fresno plus the points and plus 110. 
Um, CBS Sports Network, San Diego State, Central Michigan, Mountain Central by 8.5, total 51 and 9 tenths. And it's 2.5 and, and 53.5. And I'm going to lay to 2.5 with Central Michigan. Georgia Southern, Georgia State on ESPNU. My line is Southern, 7.5, total 59, end of 20th. And it is State, 3.5, total 58.5. Um, I'm going to go with Southern, plus the 3.5 and plus 136 outright. Western Michigan, Marshall, my line is... Western by nine total fifty seven and three tenths, and it's Marshall three and a half total fifty three and a half. Um, I'm gonna take Western plus the points and plus one forty six outright. Akron Ohio my lines Ohio seven and a half total fifty one and seven tenths, and it's nine and a half and forty seven and a half. Um, I'm gonna go with the over. Eastern Michigan Kent State my line is Eastern twelve and a half total fifty four and three tenths, and it is fourteen and a half and forty five and a half. Um. Another over. Um, next up on ESPN2, North Carolina Duke at 4 o'clock. My line is Duke 1.5, total 56 and 7 tenths. And it's 2.5 and, and 56 and a half. Um, Very close. Slightly in Carolina. UTSA East Carolina. My line is UTSA by 5, total 49 and 11 twentieths. And it's 2.5 and, and 55 and a half. We'll go with the under. On the SEC network, 415, Mississippi State, number one, Texas. My line is Texas, 30 and a half, total 57 and two fifths. And it's 37 and a half and 61 and a half. We don't know about Quinn Ewers. But that's not really that big of a drop off, in my opinion, from Ewers to Arch Manning because of the talent that's on the roster. And in a different game, I feel like this would have the drop off or the uh, the quarterback change would have uh, mattered if it was a bigger game, um, just a little bit. So um, I'm going to take Miss State in the points. Um, five o'clock, Old Dominion Bowling Green runs Bowling Green by twelve total forty nine in the fifth, and it's nine and a half and fifty one and a half. Um, I'm going to lay the nine and a half with Bowling Green. Louisiana Tech FIU at six. My line is Louisiana Tech by a half total fifty three and nine tenths, and it's two and a half and fifty and a half um, over. Tennessee Martin Kennesaw State. My line is UT Martin two and a half total fifty four and a twentieth, and it's Kennesaw one half total forty five and a half. Um, we'll go with the over. Um, Wagner FAU. My line's FAU eighteen and a half total forty five and eleven twentieths. And it's 31 and a half and 49 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Wagner and the points. Um, 7 o'clock on Peacock, number 3, Ohio State at Michigan State. Mine's Ohio State by 10 and a half, total 49 and two fits. And it's 23 and a half and 48 and a half. I'm taking Sparty in the points. Um, ESPN Stanford at number 17, Clemson. If Clemson by 13, total 62 and 7 tenths. And it's 21 half and 57 half. Um, I'm going to take Stanford in the points, the cover. Um, Fox Sports 1, number 18, Iowa State at Houston. Uh, Iowa State 17 half, total 37 and 7 twentieths. And it is 15 half and 43 and a half. I'm going to go with under. UL Monroe, Troy. My line's Troy by 5, total 49 and Nine twentieths and it's six and a half and forty five and a half over. Charlotte Rice, my lens rice by eleven total fifty three and thirteen twentieths and six and a half and forty seven half. Um we're gonna do over in that game as well. Tulsa North Texas, minus North Texas by fifteen and a half total sixty six and seven tenths. And it's six and a half and sixty eight and a half. I'm gonna lay to six and a half with North Texas. All right, here we go. Game of the weekend. Best game of the year so far. 7.30, ABC, Saturday prime time, under the lights. Number two, Georgia. Number four, Alabama from Tuscaloosa. Mine's Bama by one. Total 47 and 7 tenths. And it is Georgia giving one and a half totals 50 and a half. Um, so the choices are Alabama or the under. And... I have a two point two and a half point edge on Bama. And I have an almost three point edge on the under, so I'm gonna give out the under. Um
Although I think Bama's going to win. On NBC, number 19, Illinois. Number 9, Penn State. Mine's Penn State, 11 half, total 49, 11 20th. And it is 17 half and 47 half. I'm going to take Illinois to cover. Um, ESPN New Middle Tennessee, Memphis. Mine's Memphis, 24, total 58 and 19 20th. And it's 25 and a half and 61 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the under. Um, SEC Network, 745, South Alabama, number 14, LSU. Mine's LSU, 15 and a half, total 66. And it's 20th and it's 28 and a half and 65 and a half. Um, I'm going to take South Alabama to cover. Florida State, SMU, 8 o'clock, ACC Network. Mine's SMU by 12, total 50 and a fifth. And it's six and a half and forty seven half. I love SMU minus the points against Florida State. ESPN two, Cincinnati, Texas Tech minus Tech by nine, total sixty and thirteen twentieths, and it's three and a half and fifty nine half. I'm gonna lay to three and a half with Texas Tech. New Mexico, New Mexico State minus State by eleven half, total fifty nine and the twentieth. And it's New Mexico nine and a half, total fifty four and a half. That's crazy. I'm taking State plus nine and a half and plus two fifty outright. CBS Sports Network, Air Force, Wyoming, minus Wyoming by 7, total 38 and 9 twentieths. And it's Air Force 3.5, total 33.5. I'm taking Wyoming in the 3.5 and, and plus 150 outright. I like a lot of outright dogs this week. I love it. 10 o'clock on Fox Sports 1, Wazoo and number 25, Boise State. Mine's Boise White by 1, total 78 and 3 twentieths. And it is 6.5 and, and 64.5. And I'm going to take Wazoo. I would think Wazoo's going to potentially win outright, but I like the over. Um, 10-15 ESPN. Arizona number 10 Utah. My line's Utah by 15, so 51 and 720. if Cam Rising doesn't play 10. And it's 7 half and 47 left. That line indicates that Cam Rising's probably not going to play, but if he plays, I'm winning the points. If not, it's the over. And last but not least, 11 o'clock p.m. on Fox. Number eight, Oregon at UCLA. My line's Oregon by 15, total 51 and a fifth, and it is 25 and a half and 55 and a half. I'm going to take the Bruins to cover 25 and a half. All right, now I'll move on to baseball. Um, we'll recap yesterday's games and look ahead to tonight and the weekend, the last weekend of the regular season. I think I'm going to open the show on Monday with baseball because it's a very interesting uh Weekend coming up. Um, Brewers over to Pirates 5 2. Royals over to Nats 7 4. Tigers over to Rays 4 3. White Sox over to Angels 7 0. So the White Sox avoid the record breaking loss again. Rockies over to Cardinals 10 8. Um, Yanks over to O's 10 1 as they finally clinch the AL East. A's over to Rangers 3 2. Mets Braves postpone the doubleheader on Monday. Marlins over the Twins, 8, 6, and 13. And the Dodgers over the Padres, 7, 2, as they clinch the NL West, finally. All right, 220, you have Reds-Cubs. TBD, Jamison Tyon, um, Cubs going for a winning record. Um, we're going to go with the Dodgers losing record. They have 81 wins. Um, Cubs minus 146. Reds plus 124 over under 6.5. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Reds plus one half is minus one ninety two. Cubs minus one half plus one fifty eight. I like the over a lot. That's a, a really low total. It's like they're making that total like it's Paul Skeens pitching. Um, Six thirty White Sox Tigers. Um, Garrett Crochet and CBD. So the Tigers playing for that playoff spot. Um, they're close to clinching. Um, they're minus one six four. The White Sox plus one thirty eight over under seven half. Over is even money. Under is minus one twenty two. White Sox plus one half is minus one thirty eight. Tigers minus one half plus one twenty six. Um, I think the White Sox finally uh break the record today. I'm laying the run line with the Tigers minus one half plus one twenty six. Um, six forty five. Phillies Nats Rangers Suarez and Trevor Williams. Phils minus one ninety. Nats plus one sixty over under eight. Overs minus one fifteen. Unders minus one five. Phils minus one half. Nats plus one half minus ten each way. I'm going with the under. 7 o'clock, Pirates, Yankees, Jared Jones, and Carlos Rodon. Yanks minus 162, Pirates plus 136, over under 7 half, over is minus 120, under is minus 102. Pirates plus 1 half is minus 150, Yanks minus 1 half plus 125. The Yankees are going to have to try this weekend because their magic number for home field in the American League is 2. 
But I don't think they're winning tonight. They they party too much last night. I'm taking Pittsburgh plus one thirty six. Um, Marlins Jays Adam Aller and Jose Barrios. Jays minus one ninety six. Marlins plus one sixty four. Under eight and a half. Overs plus one hundred two. Unders minus one twenty four. Marlins plus one half is minus one thirty. White Sox. Or I'm sorry. Jays minus one half plus one hundred six. I have White Sox in my head because I have the hundred loss thing in my head with the Marlins. I'm gonna lay the run line with the Blue Jays. Um, next, Astros, Guardians, oof, Astros are locked in the third, Renel Blanco and Joey Cantillo. Um, Guardians minus 120, Astros plus 102, over under 8, overs minus 105, unders minus 115, Astros minus 1F plus 162, Guardians plus 1F is minus 196, I'm going to go with the Astros at plus 102, but Blanco's really good, I think the Yankees magic number for home goes to 1, if not, they clinch it tonight. Um... Rays Red Sox, um, Taj Bradley and Nick Paveda. Um, Red Sox minus 134, Rays plus 116, over under 8.5, overs plus 104, unders minus 128. Rays plus 1.5 is minus 192, Red Sox minus 1.5 plus 158. Um, I'm going to go with the Rays plus 116. So they could dodge a losing record, um, at least for a game. Uh, Royals Braves, um, Brady Singer, Max Freed. Um, Braves minus 174, Royals plus 146, over under 7.5, over is even money, under is minus 122, Royals plus 1.5 is minus 140, Braves minus 1.5 plus 116. I'm going to go with the Royals at plus 146 as they get closer to clinching. Um, O's wins at 8 o'clock. Cade Povich and Pablo Lopez, so the O's are locked into 4. So they're playing... Going to be playing the sixth seed. Oh, I'm sorry, the five seed. The Astros are going to be playing either the Royals or the Tigers. And then, and then so will the O's. Um, hmm, what am I looking for? Oh, here we go. Uh, Twins minus 162. O's plus 136. Over under 8. Overs minus 120. Unders minus 102. O's plus 1.5 is minus 160. Twins minus 1.5 plus 132. Um, I'm going to go with the O's at plus 136 because I think the Twins are cooked. Um, Dodgers, Rockies, TBD, Cal Quantrill. Dodgers minus 166, Rockies plus 140, over under 11, over is minus 114, under is minus 106. Dodgers minus 1.5, minus 125, Rocks plus 1.5 is plus 104. I'm going with the Rockies plus 140. Same reason why I'm taking Pittsburgh against the Yankees. Party too hard last night. Division clinch. Um, Mets Brewers. Um, Sean Vanaya and Frankie Montas. Mets minus one twenty two. Brewers plus one four. Under seven half. Overs minus one fourteen. Unders minus one six. Mets minus one half plus one thirty six. Brewers plus one half is minus one sixty six. Um, I'm gonna go with the over. Nine thirty. Rangers Angels. Um, Jacob Degrom and Reed Detmers. Um. Rangers minus 154, Angels plus 130, over under 7.5, overs minus 104, unders minus 118. Rangers minus 1.5 plus 114, Angels plus 1.5 is minus 137. I'm going to go with the under because of the Grom. Um, Padres, Diamondbacks, um, you Darvish and Merrill Kelly. D-backs minus 122, Darvish and the Padres plus 104, over under 8.5, overs minus 124, unders plus 102. Um, Padres minus one half plus six four. Dbacks plus one half is minus two hundred. Um, I'm gonna go with the under plus money. I think Darvish pitches well tonight. Um, ten o'clock A's Mariners and how emotional was that last A's home game? Um, JP Sears and TBD for the Mariners. Mariners minus one six eight. A's plus one forty two over under seven half. Overs minus one five. Unders minus one fifteen. A's plus one half is minus sixty two. Mariners minus one half plus one thirty four. Um, I'm gonna go with the over. And last but not least, ten fifteen cards Giants. Miles Mikolas and Landon Rupp. Um, Giants minus one twenty two. Cards plus one hundred four. Under seven half. Over is even money. Under is minus one twenty two. Cards minus one half plus one seventy six. Giants plus one half is minus two fifteen. Um, I'm gonna go with the over, at even money. All right, Saturday one o'clock. Pirates Yankees, White Sox Tigers two twenty. Reds Cubs three third or three o'clock. Marlins Jays. 
4 o'clock, Phil's, Nats, Cards, Giants, Rays, Red Sox, 6 o'clock, Astros, Guardians on Fox, O's, Twins, and Mets, Brewers, 720, Royals, Braves, 8 o'clock, Dodgers, Rockies, Padres, D-backs, 930, Rangers, Angels, and A's, Mariners, and then Sunday, 3 o'clock, everybody plays at 3 o'clock, um, Phil's, Nats, Cards, Giants, Pirates, Yankees, Rays, Red Sox, Marlins, Jays, Rangers, Angels, O's, Twins, White Sox, Tigers, Astros, Guardians, Dodgers, Rockies, Mets, Brewers, A's, Mariners, Padres, Diamondbacks, Reds, Cubs, and Royals, Braves. Um, so pick the winners of each series really quickly. Um, I say the Yankees win two out of three and they clinch home field in the American League. Um, they'll clinch it tomorrow, my guess, is because they lose tonight. Um... Phil's Nats, I think the Phil's win two out of three. Cards Giants is irrelevant, but I'm going to say the Giants win two out of three in the last series at home. Rays Red Sox, Sox win two out of three, but the Rays win tonight. Marlins Jays, I think the Jays sweep. Rangers Angels, I'm going to say the Rangers win two out of three. O's Twins, I'm going to say the O's win two out of three because the Twins are just falling apart. Um, White Sox Tigers, I'm going to say that the White Sox... Um, when one game Tigers get two out of three, so the Tigers will clinch. Maybe the White Sox win Sunday, and then Astros Guardians. I'm going to say the the um Guardians win two out of three, but the Astros win tonight. Um, Dodgers Rockies. Dodgers win two out of three, but the Rockies win tonight. Brewers Mets. I'm going to say the Mets win two out of three. A's Mariners. Um, Mariners win two out of three. Padres, Diamondbacks, I'm going to say the D-backs win two out of three at home. Reds, Cubs, I'm going to say the Cubs win two out of three at home. And then the Royals, Braves, I'm going to say the Royals win two out of three to clinch on the road. So I don't think any sweeps happen this weekend except for Toronto. All right, now move on to soccer. Um, We're not going to do soccer picks because we still have the WNBA playoffs. But we'll just go over yesterday, look ahead to everything today. Um. La Liga, Villarreal versus Espanol, 2-1. Las Palmas, Batiste, 1-1 draw. Atletico versus Celta Vigo, 1-0. All right, today, 3 o'clock, Valladolid, Mallorca. Saturday, 8 o'clock, Atafay, Alves, 10-15, Real Leganes. 12-30, Real Sociedad, Valencia. 3 o'clock, Osasuna, Barcelona. Sunday, 8 o'clock, Celta Vigo, Girona. 10-15, Atletico, Sevilla. 12-30, Batiste, Espanol. 3 o'clock, Atletico, Real Madrid. Um, Bundesliga. 2.30, Dortmund, Bochum. Saturday, 9.30, Gladbach, Union, Berlin. Mainz, Hedenheim. RP Leipzig, at Augsburg. Freiburg, St. Pauli. Wolfsburg, Stuttgart. And then 12.30, Bayer and Leverkusen. And then Sunday, 9.30, Holstein, Kiel and Frankfurt. And 11.30, Hoffenheim and Bremen. Uh, Premier League, tomorrow, 7.30, Newcastle, Man City. Um, 10 o'clock, Arsenal, Lee Sester, Brentford, West Ham, Chelsea, Brighton, Everton, Crystal Palace, Nottingham, Forest, Fulham, and 12.30, Wolves, Liverpool. And then Sunday, 9 o'clock, Ipswich, Aston Villa, 11.30, Man United, Tottenham, MLS. Um, this weekend, 7.30, tomorrow, CF Montreal, San Jose, D.C., Columbus, Cincy, LAFC, Miami, Charlotte, New England, Nashville, Red Bulls, NYCFC, Philly, Atlanta, 8.30, Austin, Salt Lake, um, Chicago, Toronto, Dallas, Orlando, Mini, Colorado, St. Louis, KC, Seattle, Houston, 10.30, and Vancouver, Portland. Um, and then 10 o'clock, Angel City, Washington. Um, and then um, tomorrow, 1 o'clock, CBS, KC, Gotham. 7 o'clock, Louisville um, at Utah, Orlando, Houston, San Diego, Portland. And then Sunday, 6 o'clock, Chicago, North Carolina, and uh, Seattle, Bay FC. Liga MX tonight, 8 o'clock, Pueblo Juarez, 9 o'clock, Carretero Nacoxa, 10 o'clock, Tigres Leon, 11 o'clock, Tijuana Mazatlan, Saturday, 7 o'clock, Toluca Atlas, 9 o'clock, Pachuca Cruz Azul, 
11 o'clock, Guadalajara, Monterrey, and Athletic San Luis Santos. And it's Sunday, 8 o'clock, America and UNAM. Syria, say two for five, Milan and Lecce. Saturday, 9 o'clock, Udinese, Inter Milan. 12 o'clock, Genoa, Juventus. 2.45, Bologna, Adelana. And then Sunday is a busier day. Um, 6.30, Torino, Lazio. 9 o'clock, AS Roma, Venezia. Como, Verona, Empoli, Fiorentina at 12. And then 2.45 is Napoli and Monza. Um, French League 1. Um, today, 1 o'clock, Auxerre, Brest. And 3 o'clock, PSJ, Rennes. And then Saturday, 11 o'clock, Lens, Nice. 1 o'clock, La Havre, AC, Lille. 3 o'clock, Monaco, Montpellier. And then Sunday, 9 o'clock, Toulouse, Lyon. 11 o'clock, Angers, Reims. Nantes, Inetien. 245, Strasbourg, and Martial. Um, USL Saturday 3 o'clock El Paso, North Carolina Indy, Miami, Pittsburgh, Birmingham, Louisville, Memphis Tampa, Hartford, Colorado, Loudoun At 8, 8.30 San Antonio, Rhode Island 10 o'clock Monterey Bay, Detroit 10, 30, Phoenix, Vegas And then Sunday 6 o'clock Oakland, Tulsa and 8.30 Sacramento And New Mexico And then ELC today, 3 o'clock, Plymouth, Luton. Tomorrow, 7.30, Blackburn, Keep Yard, Derby, Norris City, Sheffield, Wednesday, West Brom, Hull, Cardiff at 10, Leeds, Conventry, Borough, Stoke, Moel, Preston, Oxford, Burnley, Portsmouth, Sheffield United, and Watford, and Sunderland. And then Sunday, 10 o'clock, is Swansea, Bristol City, Dutch Air, Devise. Today, 2 o'clock, Caracas here in Veen. Saturday, 10.30, Willem 2, PSV, NEC, Feyenoord, Sparta, Fortuna. So it was 10, 30, 12, 45, and 3 are the times of the games. And then Sunday, 6, 15, PEC, Swale, and Mary City. 8, 30, FC, Groningen, Go Ahead, Eagles. FC, 20, NAC, Breda. 10, 45, RKC, Waldrick, and Ajax. And 2 o'clock, AC, Alkmaar, and FC, Utrecht. Um, Scottish Premiership. Um, tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Dundee, Aberdeen, Hearts, Ross County, Kilmarock, Dundee, Motherwell, St. Mary's, St. Johnstone, Celtic at 12.45. And then Sunday at 7 is Rangers in Hibernian. And we also have, of course, um, the Pro League. Um, today, 11.20, Al Nasser, Al Weda, 2 o'clock, Al Idiot, Al Khalij, and Al Kidiash, and Al Ali. Saturday, 11 o'clock, Al Fateh, Al Akdod. 11.45, Al Orbara and Damak. 2 o'clock, Al Kalod and Al Halal. And then Sunday, 11.25, Al Faya and Al Rida. Al Shabab, Al Raid. And Al Tawun and Al Edifak. Okay, so there you have it for all the soccer. Now I'll do WNBA semifinals. Um, we'll make the picks for the series. So the big series, obviously, is 1 2 Liberty and the 4 seed Vegas. Um, so it now goes to best of five. For the semifinals in the new format. So. Um, best player in the series is Aja Wilson. But I like the Liberty. I think the Liberty are going to get their revenge with home court advantage. So I'm going to say the Liberty in five games in a classic. Link's son, the best player in the series is probably the Fisa Collier. Or, although you could argue Alyssa Thomas or Dewana Bonner. I think this is a really good series. I'm going to pick the Lynx in four. So we're going to have a Liberty Lynx WNBA Finals. And then Sunday we have the game ones of the series. is three at ABC. Aces Liberty, of course. We might go Rebecca Lobo on the call. Uh, Liberty are four-point favorites. Total is 163 and a half. Um... The overs have been hits in the playoffs, so I'm going to go with it here. And then um, 8.30 ESPN is Sun Links. The Links are giving 4.5 totals, 155. I like the over in that game as well. Okay, now we'll move on to NASCAR. Um, we will um, make picks for the weekend race.
choices. Um, we do not have Formula One for a while until they're in Vegas. So truck series tonight from Kansas. Um, 8.30. Um, should be a good race. Um, I am going to go with Ty Majeski at 15 to 1. Xfinity. So it's the uh, Kubota track for 200 tonight. Xfinity, it is the uh, Kansas Speedway 300. Um, Justin Algier is plus 330 to win the race as a favorite. That's crazy. And I love Algier. I'm going to go with one of my favorites, Riley Herbst, 14 to 1. And the Hollywood Casino, 400. Or this Kansas Speedway, 400 in Cup. I'm going to go with Martin Shurex Jr., 12 to 1. I almost pulled the trigger on Chris Boucher, but I think uh, Truex is safer bet. So I'm going with Truex at 12 to 1 to win the uh, Kansas Speedway 400. All right, rapid fire news and notes. Um, we just don't have a lot of time. Um, I feel like I still have to do Fab Five. Um, so. Um, Kristen Boyd of the Saints fined um, 4.6 thousand after the hit on Devontae Smith. Um, so Malik Neighbors and Micah Parsons left the game on back-to-back plays last night. Um, Parsons turns out on um, high ankle sprain. He left on the card. That was a brutal injury. And then um, Malik Neighbors suffered a concussion. He posts on Instagram, all good. So... Thank goodness this was a Thursday night game. If you're a Giant fan or a Cowboy fan, thank goodness this was a Thursday night game because now you have 10 days. So they lucked out, both those players, especially neighbors with the concussion because I think that um, Parsons, that's a worse injury in terms of of recovery. And the concussion, you can be back in the week. I mean, at least um, neighbors will be okay. Um, so Jordan Love good to go against the Vikings. It looks like, so that's good. Um, Derek Barnes, um, knee injury against the Cardinals placed on IR. Um, Devontae Adams has a hamstring injury. He was limited at practice. Um... So, Jeff Passan rips the Athletics move as he um, shared his thoughts after the A's final game. And some media news, um, ESPN laid off Zach Lowe, their fine NBA writer and podcast host. That's a really big loss for ESPN. They're probably revamping their entire um, NBA group. I mean, you... You would think they're going to hire Shams, but that's really bad. I think that's a big loss for ESPN, and I'm calling it right now. He's going to go to the ringer and reunite with his old boss, Bill Simmons. Like, how is that not going to happen? Like, he does, like, he was amazing with Grantland with Bill Simmons. And if he goes to the ringer, um, I think that would just be a slam dunk higher for Bill Simmons if he were to get him to come back. But Bill Simmons already talked about um, Zach Lowe getting laid off on his podcast. I haven't listened to it yet, but um, it's interesting. Um, Magic Johnson rips Anthony Edwards as he claps back at Edwards for saying players from other generations weren't skilled. Hmm. That doesn't surprise me that um, Magic would rip him. Um, the Chicago Skyfire, Teresa Weatherspoon, 
after one season, one and done. Um, I feel bad for Teresa Witherspoon. That team could have been a playoff team if Angel Reese didn't get injured. Like, that isn't... I think it's a... I mean, we'll see who they hire, but I feel really sorry for Teresa Weatherspoon. She didn't deserve this at all. Um, ben Simmons, a full go for camp, as Sean Marks says that he is ready for preseason after Mark back's, March back surgery. Yikes. Um, we'll see how uh, that goes. Worst contract in the league, as we know. Tom Thibodeau came out with a statement and praising... Um, Derek Rose after he announces his retirement. Um, Aaron Gordon, I in 2028 Olympics, as Aaron Gordon says Steve Kerr offered him a roster spot this past year. Tyler Huntley likely starting over Tim Boyle for the Dolphins on Monday night against the uh, the Titans. I think they should start Tyler Huntley. They should. He's better than Skylar Thompson and Tim Boyle. Tyler Huntley is not a bad backup quarterback, as we saw with the Ravens. Um, and I think he could do good in that offense with those pieces. And that offense is better than what he had with the Ravens at the time. Rex Ryan calls out the Cowboys as he says he could have fixed their defense, but Dallas couldn't pony up the money. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Um... So, um, Justin Fields shades the Bears staff as he says comparison between Steelers and Bears coaching staff is not close. I agree with Justin Fields. Um, the Lions signed Allen Robinson to the active roster, so I like that pickup for the trade. Um, three teams eyed a Fields trade. The Ravens, the Raiders, and the Chargers spoke with the Bears before the Steelers deal. The Steelers deal made the most sense. I mean, the Raiders did make a lot of sense as well, but the Steelers made sense too. Um, Steve Sarkeesian says he hasn't determined whether it's Quinn Ewers or Arch Manning starting against Middle or um, Mississippi State, also Middle Tennessee, because I uh, MSU. Um, that's probably what I had in my head. The SEC and the Big Ten ADs to meet as the NCAA conferences to discuss new. Enforcement arm, college football playoff format, and scheduling arrangement. Ooh, that's interesting. Air Force, U, and LV snub the Pac-12 as the schools will receive up to $30 million for staying with the Mountain West. So there you have it for news notes. Best better today brought to you by FanDuel. Um, so best bet, I'm going to lay the 50th. Of a unit and I'm gonna go with the under in Phillies Nats. I just think that is really low. So I'm gonna go with under 8, minus 105 between the Phils and the Nats. All right, Fab 5. Um, I'm going to go down a, a, a few units for Fab 5. I think I'm going to do... Um, 3 hundredths of a unit instead. I'm going to start with the NFL for Fab Five. Pick number one. I'm laying it with the Jets. Um, They are going to steamroll Denver. And they're better than Denver. That defense, I think, is going to play a lot better against the rookie quarterback. I think Rodgers is going to torch that defense. And Denver could have had Aaron Rodgers. That was the um the hot rumor before um they went and got Russell Wilson. And you know Aaron Rodgers is going to be motivated. Second home game. That crowd, I'm going to lay 7.5 with the New York Football Jets. Pick number two of the Fab Five. I'm laying 6.5 with the Texans against the Jags. I just think the Jags stink. So. Um. 
I'm gonna go... Lay, um, six and a half of the Texans against the Jaguars. Pick number three of the Fab Five. I'm going to take the Washington Commanders getting the three and a half against Arizona. I love what I've seen from Washington, and I think that this could keep up. So. And I think Washington has a chance to win outright. So I'm going to take Commanders three and a half against the Cardinals. Pick number four, I'm going to take the Chargers getting seven against the Chiefs. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I think Herbert's going to play. And I think that the Chiefs have been lucky in a lot of these games lately. So... I'm going to take the Chargers getting seven. Chiefs win a close one again. And pick number five, I'm going to go over 46 and a half in Bills Ravens. I just think that um, that's a low total. And there are a lot of Bills injuries, so I'm going to go with over 46 and a half in Bills Ravens. Underdog outright pick of the show. Um, this is a hard one. Um, but Chargers three to one's enticing. But. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the Commanders. Plus 150. I think they're going to beat them outright. So, Commanders plus 150. Against the Cardinals. College football, Fat Five. A little trickier to figure out. Um, so, pick... Number one, I am going to take Sam Houston getting nine and a half against uh, Texas State. I just think that number is extremely high. Um, pick number two, I'm going over 46 and a half in Louisville, Notre Dame. That's a low number, and I think that... Uh, there's going to be a lot of points scored in that game. Pick number three. I don't like laying points with road favorites, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to lay three after Liberty against Appalachian State. I don't think App State is as good as they used to be. And it's showing that South Alabama game. So I'm going to lay three after Liberty. Pick number four. Of the Fab Five, I am taking another big home underdog. I am going to go with New Mexico State plus nine and a half against New Mexico. Rivalry game. That's a low number, so I'm going to take New Mexico State getting the points. And the last pick of the college Fab Five. I'm going to take... The I want to take an over because I like a lot of overs this week. Um, the under East Carolina game is pretty fun too. So I'm going to go with the Maction over. So I'm going to go over 45 and a half in Eastern Michigan and Kent State. And my underdog outright pick for college football. Um, I'm going to go to Conference USA. And I'm going to go with... 
they. Sam Houston Bearcats with the K. Plus 260 against Texas State. It was either them or New New Mexico State, but Sam Houston's 3-1. And and New Mexico State is 1-3. So there's the difference. So I'm going Sam Houston State plus 260. They're 3-1 right now. And I think they're going to beat Texas State, who is 2-1 outright. So... There you have it for the show, and I'll be back on Monday recapping everything. Look at that everything come Monday as well, and the baseball playoffs will be here too. Actually, no, that's a semi-lie because we have Mets Braves on Monday, doubleheader. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.